I'm Miss Kathy, nature detective, and I am here with my favorite scavenger, Chester the opossum, and we are ready for today's scavenger hunt. Let's look at the riddle and see what we will be looking for today. Ready, Chester? I love fruits, veggies, and especially grass. I take my time walking while others pass. I don't have vibrant colors like a peacock. If I stand very still, you might think I'm a rock. My claws are perfect for digging in the dirt. My hard shell protects me from getting hurt. Deep underground is where my home ends. It provides shelter for many of my Everglades friends. Hmm, what do you think we're gonna be looking for today? Chester, do you have any ideas? Well, it looks like we might be in for a long walk. So, Chester, would you like a little snack before we go? Ready? Let's start exploring, everyone. Get out your binoculars. Hi, Mr. Peacock. We are looking for the answer to today's riddle. Now, this animal does not have vibrant colors like you, but they have a hard shell. Do you have any idea what we could be looking for? Anything? Go ask the African spur tortoises. That's a great idea. Thank you. Come on, everyone. Let's go ask the African spur tortoises. Hi, Cheeseburger. Hi, Arietta. I'm with our African spur tortoises, but they are not native to Florida. Do you think you guys can help us out with this riddle? We're looking for a tortoise that is native to Florida and the Everglades. Any ideas? They say to check out the gopher tortoise in our aviary. Thanks guys. Come on everyone. Let's go head to the aviary. We found the gopher tortoise in our aviary. The gopher tortoise gets its name because it digs deep burrows, just like a gopher. Gopher tortoises are large tortoises and can weigh up to 15 pounds. They have scaly, shovel-like front legs that are specialized for digging. The gopher tortoise is native to southeastern United States and is the only land tortoise native to this area. It became the official state tortoise of Florida in 2008. The gopher tortoise is a keystone species. Remember what a keystone species is? Keystone species are animals that are very important to the health and sustainability of the ecosystem it inhabits. Gopher tortoises burrow and provide shelter for hundreds of different animals, ranging from frogs to owls and even endangered indigo snakes. Gopher tortoises need a habitat with trees, but not too many. Otherwise, sunlight can filter through. They need sunlight to filter through to nourish the low-growing plants that are staples to the tortoise's diet. It also eats berries, flowers, grass, mushrooms, apples, and cactus pads. You can see him going into his burrow right now. The gopher tortoise helps the plants it eats by spreading their three seeds through its droppings. Even though they mostly eat vegetation, they can sometimes be scavengers, eating carrion, dead crabs, and insects. The gopher tortoise gets plenty of water from the plants that it eats, so you'll rarely see it drinking from a separate water source. The gopher tortoise leads a solitary life, except during mating season. Usually you'll find one gopher tortoise in a burrow, unless you come across a nest of hatchlings. Females lay their eggs near the entrance of the burrow. Unfortunately, many eggs are eaten by animals like raccoons and eagles that have come across the unguarded nest. Gopher tortoise babies are independent from birth. They really receive no parental care. They're pretty cool, aren't they? I hope you all enjoyed learning about the gopher tortoise and how important they are to our Florida Everglades. Now it's time for Crafts with Cats, starring Grey Ghost and Twin. And our craft for today is a gopher tortoise. 
Now you can go to flamingogardens.org, just click on the education tab for the scavenger hunt, or you can download a picture of the gopher tortoise. And you can shrink it to size so that it fits in your diorama. You can also print them up on cardstock so it's a little bit thicker. After you've printed it up, you're going to cut it out. You could put a little stand on the back so he can stand up. And also, if you'd like, if you have some black paper, you can make a little gopher tortoise burrow. Now, we added a little bit of more land right by our pond apple tree. And that is where we are going to put our gopher tortoise and his burrow. Remember to visit us at flamingogardens.org. Just click on the education tab. And you can also visit us at YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram at Flamingo Gardens. We can't wait to see you soon. Have a great day.